I want to touch on a, on a very important subject. It's on the nature of sound. Uh, I like to call this the metaphysics of sound. Uh, how does sound uh, function? And, uh, you know, one very quickly realizes that everything is completely interconnected. So, uh, a great example of that is if you take a pebble and you throw it into a pond, of, a still pond of water, and you don't get just like one one ring from that splash that occurred. The splash, you know, is, makes a sound, you know, the, the collision between the pebble and the water. Uh, you get concentric rings. And so those concentric rings are, are, are actually what are known as um, overtones. And then, of course, the, you know, the rings, as they spread out, they hit other objects, and they bounce back, and they reflect, and they make, uh, you know, different patterns in, in the ripples all through the pond until the energy is more or less dissipated. So, you know, if I took a guitar string and I plucked a guitar string, it would move up and down in one unit at a certain frequency, right? Within that movement up and down like this, you begin to see there's another oscillation that's happening at the halfway point. So that exists within the big vibration. There's this other smaller vibration in halves. There's also one in thirds and fourths and fifths and sixths and sevenths, eighths, ninths, tenths, you know. So, you know, if you very carefully observe the vibrate, you know, a string, pluck a string and just sit there and watch it, you really begin to realize that, you know, there's multiple things going on. Uh, not just the one vibration. So um, these are called overtones. Let me give you an example of that in the next video.